Traveling. Do you like traveling? Yes, I do. Traveling can help me learn local cultures and customs. I can also taste a variety of local food. I think it's great to travel with friends and families. It might be even better if I could travel overseas. Where do you like to go when you go traveling? I don't like very crowded places. I don't like to visit the tourist attractions, but I would like to visit some people's home and some unique restaurants. I can learn a lot from just walking in the city. Have you ever traveled for a long time? Yes, I went to Yunnan Province last summer and stayed there for almost two weeks. It's really my longest trip so far. I like the stone forests in Kunming and Lijing ancient town. The culture and construction styles are very different from cities in my hometown. Do you like long trips? If I have enough time, I think long trips are nice because I can always learn new things by staying there for a longer time. Also, if I have plenty of time to explore a place, I won't feel too tired. How do you feel when you travel? I can always feel relaxed and excited. Because I can see different things and learn the local cultures and customs. Do you prefer to travel alone or with other people? I prefer to travel with other people, because I can talk with them and share our experiences. Also, I'm not good at directions. If I travel with others, I don't need to worry about getting lost. Which country would you like to travel to in the future? If I have enough money, I'd like to travel to Egypt. It's a mysterious country to me, and I always want to walk in the pyramids. I think I might even find the buried treasure if I'm lucky enough. Housework. Do people do a lot of housework in your country? Yes, many people like to do the housework themselves. Because they believe it is their own private matters, but it seems more people like to pay for somebody else to do the housework for them, because in their mind, their time is more valuable than doing housework. Did you do a lot of housework when you were a child? Well, I have to say sorry to my parents, cause you know, when I was a child. My parents wanted me to spend all my time in studying or playing, and so they did not ask me to do any housework. Is it important for a child to do housework? Maybe I am not so sure. It is possible for them to do housework to understand the value of life or to know more about life. Cause I didn't do a lot of housework when I was a child. I couldn't really tell whether it is important or not. What kind of housework do you have to do in China? Usually, some cleaning jobs, such as mopping the floor, cleaning the table or the dishes, and making the beds. What different kinds of housework do men and women do? Well, many a time, men will do some housework like changing the bulbs, fixing the locks, or plumbing. But now more men are sharing other housework with women. Should children help their parents to do some housework? Yes, I think it is a good idea to ask children to help their parents to do some housework. In this way, the children can not only learn some practical skills, but also have a sense of their parents' hard work. Home and family. Do you live in a house or a flat? I live in a flat. It's a 15-story building, and my home is on the fifth floor. We have three bedrooms and a big living room. I like my home because it's spacious. Do you like to live in a big city or a small town? It's a dilemma. I think it would be nice to live in the countryside. 
but work and enjoy the modern facilities in the city. Right now, I live in big cities. I have access to all kinds of modern facilities and it's also easier for me to find a suitable job. However, the air pollution and traffic problems sometimes drive me crazy. I think I'll move to the countryside after I get retired. Which room is your favorite in your home? I love our living room because it's spacious. I could watch TV and play computer games there. I also like the view from the big window. Was from there, I could see the river in my city and the beautiful trees along the river. I think I spend most of the time at home in the living room besides sleeping time. Do you like changing your flat? If I have the option, it'll be nice to move to a bigger flat. I will never complain about having a big flat. If I do, I'll want be able to hold parties with my friends and even play badminton in our living room. Now, we would usually feel crowded if we have a guest. With a big flat, this won't be a problem anymore. Is it good for family members to eat together? Absolutely. For a lot of Chinese families, Dinner time is a quality time that the family can spend together. Because during that time, we'll concentrate on our meal and set our tasks or homework aside. If family members do not eat together, I think it'll be hard for the people who live under the same roof to know each other well. Do you know your neighbors? Yes, I recently moved to this new home. So I don't know most of my neighbors. But one day, when I was walking down the stairs, I saw one of my neighbors, a young girl. And then I started saying hello and made new grins with her. From then on, I would always talk to her when I see her in the stairway. I feel it's good to know my neighbors because when I have some problems or troubles, I could ask them for help. Do you prefer young or old neighbors? I prefer young neighbors, especially people of my age, because we were more likely to have things in common. It's easier for us to communicate and we could even do some outdoor activities together. However, if have old neighbors, I'll be able to learn life experience from them. What do you think can be added to your flat? I fits possible. I love to have a guest room added. Sometimes my friends visit, but my home is too tiny, so they have to sleep in the living room. I always feel embarrassed for that. With an extra guest room, everything will be solved. Besides, if we don't have guests, I can use it as my private study room, which will help me study more effectively. Handcraft. When do you need to make something yourself? I usually don't need to make things myself, because we can always find everything at supermarkets. But occasionally I make scarves or sweaters by myself. It's like my pastime hobby. I would always feel a sense of success when I complete a project. Is it good for children to do more hands-on activities? I think so. When children make things themselves, they're more likely to remember things, and their interest will be aroused during the process. It's also a good way to teach them to be independent. When children use their hands, they'll need to think, and their brains will also be developed better. Should children learn a certain skill in their early age? It depends. If they're interested in something. Such as drawing and playing instruments, it's helpful for them to start early. They'll have more career choices when they grow older if they have some special skills. However, if the children don't want to learn a skill that the parents think is important, it'll be wise for parents to respect the children's choice. Did you ever learn to make something by hand? Yes. 
When I was a child, even in the kindergarten, my teachers had taught me how to make a paper plane and paper bird. It was quite encouraging to see things made by my own hands. Do you think it is popular in China? These days, handmade things are becoming popular, cause you know. Some handmade things are so unique and exquisite that no such machines can produce. On some other occasions, when people are bored with those things massively produced by machines, they may choose to make one with their own hands. If you have a chance, what do you want to learn? If I have the chance, I would like to learn to make a kite with my own hands. You know, when I was a child. I liked to fly kites very much, and my father had bought me a lot of kites. But I dreamed of having one kite made all by myself that could fly higher than any of my classmates and friends. But I never had a chance to do so because my father was too busy with his business and could not provide me with the necessary material and skills. Did you do handcrafts at school? I actually had a handcraft class when I was in elementary school, and the teacher would teach us to do all kinds of handcrafts. I would always feel proud of myself when I brought my own artworks home. Do you think Chinese people like making handcrafts? I think so. In the past, a lot of people would make their own sweaters. And now cross stitch is getting popular among young ladies. Happiness. What can make you feel happy? A lot of things. For example, if I hear some good news about myself or people around me, I'll feel happy. Last month, one of my cousins gave birth to a baby girl. I felt happy for her and for the newborn baby. The other day, I bought a nice bag on sale. Which also made me feel happy. I guess life is full of happiness, and we just need to have the eyes to discover it. How to improve your happiness level? We need to treat ourselves well. When it's time to rest, we should make excuses to work or study too much. We should exercise more and eat healthily in order to keep our body fit. If we're healthy physically. We'll also feel happy mentally. In addition, having good social connections can also make us feel happier. So we should treat the people around us nicely. Will unhappy things influence your mood? Definitely. Sometimes just a tiny unhappy thing can ruin a whole day. For example, if I have some conflicts with another driver while I'm driving or riding a bike. This incident will haunt me the whole time on my way to work or school. If I learn that I didn't do well on an exam, which I have studied for a whole month, I'll probably be upset for a few days. Is happiness important? Of course. That's why we use the words related to happiness to show our good wishes, such as Happy New Year. Have a good time and enjoy your meal. If we're happy, we're more likely to enjoy a longer life. Also, happy students can study well and happy workers can work more productively. So we have to remind ourselves and people around us to be happy all the time. What do we do with happy things and sad things? If we have happy things. We should definitely share them with the people we know. Happiness can be multiplied in this way. If we have something sad or unpleasant, it's better to share our feelings with our friends or families as well. Also, when we feel down, we have to think positively and shouldn't let depression overcome us. Can money make people happier? Sometimes it does. But money doesn't work when it comes to long-term happiness. Money can buy us material satisfaction, but spiritually, it is pale and weak. 
Although we need money to buy us daily necessities, but we shouldn't be obsessed with making more and more money, especially when we have to sacrifice our family or health. A lot of rich people will eventually regret it when they get money and lose everything else in the end. Are all kinds of unhappiness bad? Not necessarily. On some occasions, when we are stuck in unhappiness, we may learn something that is helpful to us, so that we will not suffer from the unhappiness in this aspect again. In this sense, the unhappiness is just a kind of beneficial experience. Leisure time. Do you watch TV often? I used to, but not anymore. After I found that the internet can give me a lot more choices for entertainment, I just don't have much time for TV anymore. But I still watch TV occasionally with my family after dinner or at weekends. I sometimes wish there were fewer advertisements to stop me in the middle of a TV drama or entertaining program. What programs do you like? When I watch TV, I like dramas and entertaining programs. Once you watch a TV series, you will find very difficult to let it go. You just have to finish it and find the ending of the story. I also like entertaining programs, especially the ones which involve famous movie stars or singers. I don't know why, but I'm interested in their lives and always want to find out more about them. Do you like watching TV with your family or friends or by yourself? I don't like watching TV alone. I prefer to do it with my friends or family members. When I watch TV, I also like talking and sharing my feelings with others. It's like an important part of TV watching. When I watch TV alone, I'll feel bored and hard to concentrate. Do you think you watched too much TV when you were a child? I don't think so. You know, when I was a child, my parents were very strict with me, and they even forced me to learn many other skills after I finished my schoolwork. Actually. I missed a lot of interesting cartoon programs in my childhood. How much free time do you have? I have a lot of free time, about five to six hours a day. I would usually stay at home to surf the internet or read books. Occasionally, I would go shopping or go on short trips. In the evenings, do you prefer to relax at home and watch TV or go out with your friends? I think both are good for me. Half to half would be a good balance. I like spending some time with my friends each week, but definitely not every day because I also need some quiet time to think and read by myself. Do you think it's important to have time to relax? I think so. When I'm too busy with my schoolwork, I usually feel very stressed. I just need some time to do nothing but relax. Do men and women relax in the same way? Sometimes, but men like sports more than women. They would go to play basketball or football, but women may enjoy shopping more. When do you spend time with your family or your friends? These days, when everyone in the family is so busy with their own personal matters. It seems they are having fewer chances to spend time together. So do I. Usually, I may stay with my parents on holidays, especially the Spring Festival. On other occasions, I stay with my friends more, mainly because we are doing similar things together. Who are more important to you, family or friends? In my deepest heart, I think family is more important to me. Although sometimes I may spend more time with my friends, you know, 
We can only be born once by our parents. But we can make new friends all the time. Besides, in this benefit-oriented society, only parents truly love us. Therefore, family should be on a more important position. What's the most difficult part about language learning? For beginners, pronunciation might be difficult. But as you learn more, you'll realize if you don't have a big vocabulary. It's hard to get around in that new language. So at that stage, memorizing a lot of words might be very challenging for learning a new language. Are there a lot of people choosing English as their major? Yes, English is becoming the international language and it's a very useful tool for us. Because of the globalization, many companies need to do business with foreign countries. So people who are good at English are in high demand. Actually, nowadays, non-English major students also put a lot effort into learning English. How many foreign languages do you know? I only speak English, and I know a little Japanese and Korean, mostly from the TV dramas I've watched. I always admire people who can speak many foreign languages. Because language doesn't only convey meanings but also can convey cultures. What other foreign languages do you want to learn? If I have enough time, I like to learn Korean and Spanish. Because I always watch Korean dramas and I think it'll be cool. If I could understand what they are saying without looking at the subtitles. If I know Spanish, I'll be able to use it in many countries such as Spain and Mexico. What are advantages of being able to speak other languages other than the native one? I think there are a few advantages. You can communicate with people more fluently. You can exchange your ideas and understand their culture better. Also, it's one way to improve your language skills. Mobile phones. Do you have a mobile phone? What do you use it for? Is your cell phone important for you in your daily life? Yes, I have a mobile phone, and I cannot imagine a life without my mobile phone. I use it to send messages or call my family and my friends. Sometimes, I also use a mobile phone to get on the internet. When do you use it? How often do you use it? Whenever I have something to discuss with my family or friends, I use a mobile phone. Or when I want to search some information, I get on the internet by mobile phone. I use it every day, and I cannot imagine a life without a mobile phone. I may not lead a normal life with it. When did you get your first mobile phone? In my middle school, I got my first mobile phone as a birthday present. It's a Nokia, so I have developed great love for the brand Nokia, and that's why I still use Nokia now. I think Nokia can type messages very fast. What feature of your cell phone do you like the best? What's the difference between sending a text message and calling someone? I like the function of messages very much. In fact, I prefer sending messages to making a phone call. Because I think you won't bother others when sending messages. And they will reply you as soon as they see the message. Of course, if you have something urgent to discuss, making a phone call will be better. Is there anything you dislike about using cell phones? Not really. I think I dislike about using cell phones only when it occupies a lot of my time. And I don't have enough time to finish important and urgent things.
I don't use it so often now. Do you think you will continue using your mobile phone in the future? Of course, I will continue using mobile phones in the future. Because I cannot leave a mobile phone and lead a normal life. But maybe one day I will change my Nokia for iPhone, since it's so popular nowadays. Computer. Do you like using the computer? Definitely. I think the computer has become an important part in my life. I use it to do my homework work, get on the internet to do research, and get some entertainment as well. I can't imagine what my life will be like if I don't have the computer. Do you use the computer often? Yes, I spend almost more than five hours a day on my computer. I use the computer to get online and do my homework work. Of course, I also play games and chat with friends occasionally. However, sometimes I tend to spend too much time on the computer, which is not good for my eyes and my spine. I think I should try not to use a computer all the four time. Introduce one. What is your name? My name is Nero. My nickname is June. Everyone call me Namio. I don't like this name. They call me even if I don't like it. But I am not angry. What do you do in the morning? First, I get up early. I wash my face. I brush my teeth. I take a bath. Then I eat breakfast. What are you doing after eating breakfast? After breakfast, I prepare myself to go to work. What is your job? I am a teacher. I teach English and science in this class. What is your education level? I am a final year student at university. What is your importance in your life, money or education? Money is important in my life. I need money for education. I need money for food. I need money to help others. Introduce one. What is your name? My name is Nero. My nickname is June. Everyone call me Namio. I don't like this name. They call me even if I don't like it. But I am not angry. What do you do in the morning? First. I get up early. I wash my face. I brush my teeth. I take a bath. Then I eat breakfast. What are you doing after eating breakfast? After breakfast, I prepare myself to go to work. What is your job? I am a teacher. I teach English and science in this class. What is your education level? I am a final year student at university. What is your importance in your life, money or education? Money is important in my life. I need money for education. I need money for food. I need money to help others. Favorite. What is your favorite food? My favorite food is Thai food. Thai foods are spicy. Thai foods are delicious. I always make breakfast, lunch, and dinner with chili. I like spicy food. What is your favorite song? My favorite song is rock. I like rock music. When I am tried, I listen to rock music. When I am sad about someone, I listen to rock music. What is your favorite book? My favorite book is Ram Charit Manas. It is the book that I like most. It is a very interesting book. What is your favorite color? My favorite color is orange, a bold color for a person who is friendly and energetic. Lovers of orange seek the attention of others and are able to manage social situations because you love to be with people. What is your favorite color? English is my favorite subject. It is an important language. 
I like to learn new English words. Grammar is a little tricky. Spoken English needs daily practice. I try to speak in English. Daily English is a global language. It is important if we visit foreign country. It is also important in offices. What is your favorite food? Potato is my favorite vegetable. Potato is a so vegetable. It is sound or oval in shape. Potato is one of the world's main food crops. Potatoes can be eaten boiled, fried, or baked. Potato contains a lot of starch. The potatoes have buds that can grow into new potato plants. What is your favorite thing in the world? My favorite thing is to play with cats and my friends and family. Favorite. What is your favorite food? My favorite food is Thai food. Thai foods are spicy. Thai foods are delicious. I always make breakfast, lunch, and dinner with chili. I like spicy food. What is your favorite song? My favorite song is rock. I like rock music. When I am tired, I listen to rock music. When I am sad about someone, I listen to rock music. What is your favorite book? My favorite book is Ram Charit Manas. It is the book that I like most. It is a very interesting book. What is your favorite color? My favorite color is orange. A bold color for a person who is friendly and energetic. Lovers of orange seek the attention of others and are able to manage social situations because you love to be with people. What is your favorite color? English is my favorite subject. It is an important language. I like to learn new English words. Grammar is a little tricky. Spoken English needs daily practice. I try to speak in English. Daily English is a global language. It is important if we visit foreign country. It is also important in offices. What is your favorite food? Potato is my favorite vegetable. Potato is a so vegetable. It is sound or oval in shape. Potato is one of the world's main food crops. Potatoes can be eaten boiled, fried, or baked. Potato contains a lot of starch. The potatoes have buds that can grow into new potato plants. What is your favorite thing in the world? My favorite thing is to play with cats and my friends and family. Time. What time do you get up in the morning? I get up at five o'clock in the morning. What time do you eat breakfast in the morning? I eat breakfast at seven o'clock in the morning. What time do you go to work every morning? I go to work at half past eight every morning. What time do you get home from job? I get home from job at about five o'clock in the evening. What time do you come to class every day? I come to class at fifteen mu nights to seven in the evening. What time do you do homework? I do homework three times a day. I do homework after I eat breakfast in the morning. I do homework after I take a rest in the afternoon. I do homework after I go to the cafe with my friends. What time is it now? It's seven o'clock in the morning. The class starts at seven o'clock and finishes at eight o'clock. I learn English for one hour in the class. I learn and practice deeply during one hour in the class. What time is your breakfast? My breakfast is at about seven. At seven, I eat breakfast with my friends in the cafe. After breakfast, we go to work together. What time do you practice English? I practice English before the class starts. I practice English before I learn some lessons in class. I think practice is good for English skill. I can't speak English well without practice. That's why I always practice in class. What time do you read for knowledge? 
I read for knowledge when I have free time. I read for knowledge when I relax at home. I always read for knowledge when I have no job. Nowadays, knowledge is important for people. Knowledge is money. Knowledge is power. Am I right? Time. What time do you get up in the morning? I get up at five o'clock in the morning. What time do you eat breakfast in the morning? I eat breakfast at seven o'clock in the morning. What time do you go to work every morning? I go to work at half past eight every morning. What time do you get home from job? I get home from job at about five o'clock in the evening. What time do you come to class every day? I come to class at fifteen mu nights to seven in the evening. What time do you do homework? I do homework three times a day. I do homework after I eat breakfast in the morning. I do homework after I take a rest in the afternoon. I do homework after I go to the cafe with my friends. What time is it now? It's seven o'clock in the morning. The class starts at seven o'clock and finishes at eight o'clock. I learn English for one hour in the class. I learn and practice deeply during one hour in the class. What time is your breakfast? My breakfast is at about seven. At seven, I eat breakfast with my friends in the cafe. After breakfast, we go to work together. What time do you practice English? I practice English before the class starts. I practice English before I learn some lessons in class. I think practice is good for English skill. I can't speak English well without practice. That's why I always practice in class. What time do you read for knowledge? I read for knowledge when I have free time. I read for knowledge when I relax at home. I always read for knowledge when I have no job. Nowadays, knowledge is important for people. Knowledge is money. Knowledge is power. Am I right? Family. Tell me something about your family members. Well, I live in a nuclear family, just like many other people of my age. My father is a civil servant in the government. My mother is a doctor in a hospital. We're all busy with our own business, so it is not easy for us to get together. Should young people live with the old? Just as the saying goes, the old are the treasure of the family. One definitely think young people should live with the old if they have the chance. In this way, the young could get a lot of different kinds of advice from the old, and of course, the old could get passion and energy from the young. Do your parents call their parents often? What do they usually talk about? Well, these years, my grandparents are getting older. Because they don't live with us, my parents would sometimes go to visit them, or sometimes call them to care about their lives and their health. I think this is a virtue for many Chinese to care for their parents when they get old. What's the difference between children raised in a single-parent family and a two-parent family? I think children who grow up in a two-parent family will be healthier because they could get the influence from both mom and dad. They'll learn how to be around with men and women. Do you think it's good to raise a child in the city? It's a hard question. I think it's okay. Actually, nowadays a lot of children are raised in the city. Although they can't get close to the nature, they can receive good education and can enjoy the advanced facilities, such as parks, museums, and libraries in the city. Tell me something about your family members. Well, I live in a nuclear family, just like many other people of my age. My father is a civil servant in the government. My mother is a doctor in a hospital. We're all busy with our own business, 
so it is not easy for us to get together. Should young people live with the old? Just as the saying goes, the old are the treasure of the family. One definitely think young people should live with the old if they have the chance. In this way, the young could get a lot of different kinds of advice from the old, and of course, the old could get passion and energy from the young. Do your parents call their parents often? What do they usually talk about? Well, these years, my grandparents are getting older. Because they don't live with us, my parents would sometimes go to visit them or sometimes call them to care about their lives and their health. I think this is a virtue for many Chinese to care for their parents when they get old. What's the difference between children raised in a single-parent family and a two-parent family? I think children who grow up in a two-parent family will be healthier because they could get the influence from both mom and dad. They'll learn how to be around with men and women. Do you think it's good to raise a child in the city? It's a hard question. I think it's okay. Actually, nowadays a lot of children are raised in the city. Although they can't get close to the nature, they can receive good education and can enjoy the advanced facilities, such as parks, museums, and libraries in the city. Festivals and holidays. What do you usually do when you have holidays? I do many things. Sometimes I stay at home to read and surf the internet or relax myself. Occasionally I'll go shopping or traveling. Since I live near the suburbs, I'll also go to ride the bike near a lake. It's a great way to help me get close to the nature. What did you do in your last holidays? I went to Hainan last holiday. I stayed there for about ten days. Although the weather was still cold here. It's very warm in Hainan. I walked on the beach and appreciated the beautiful scenery. Which public holidays do you like the most? What's your favorite festival? I like the holiday of Spring Festival because we can have a very long holiday. It's also a time to be together with family and relax. I'm always looking forward to it. Do you prefer doing things indoors or outdoors on a holiday? Do you like spending your holidays alone or going out with your friends? I prefer going outdoors because I usually stay indoors to work or study. It's really important for me to breathe the fresh air and exercise my body during holidays. Sometimes I would go on short trips to relax myself. Do you like national holiday or the spring festival? I like the Spring Festival holiday because it's the time for family reunions. I could also eat a lot of delicious food and set off fireworks. I guess it's just a special season for Chinese people. No other festivals or holidays can replace it. Do you want to have more holidays? Of course, I would like to go to school, three days a week, and have four days off if that's possible. However, if I have too much free time. I will feel bored. Festivals and holidays. What do you usually do when you have holidays? I do many things. Sometimes I stay at home to read and surf the internet or relax myself. Occasionally I'll go shopping or traveling. Since I live near the suburbs, I'll also go to ride the bike near a lake. It's a great way to help me get close to the nature. What did you do in your last holidays? I went to Hainan last holiday. I stayed there for about ten days. Although the weather was still cold here, it's very warm in Hainan. I walked on the beach and appreciated the beautiful scenery. Which public holidays do you like the most? What's your favorite festival? I like the holiday of Spring Festival because we can have a very long holiday. It's also a time to be together with family and relax. I'm always looking forward to it.
Do you prefer doing things indoors or outdoors on a holiday? Do you like spending your holidays alone or going out with your friends? I prefer going outdoors because I usually stay indoors to work or study. It's really important for me to breathe the fresh air and exercise my body during holidays. Sometimes I would go on short trips to relax myself. Do you like national holiday or the spring festival? I like the spring festival holiday because it's the time for family reunions. I could also eat a lot of delicious food and set off fireworks. I guess it's just a special season for Chinese people. No other festivals or holidays can replace it. Do you want to have more holidays? Of course, I would like to go to school, three days a week, and have four days off if that's possible. However, if I have too much free time, I will feel bored. Sport. What sports do you like? Why? I like many different kinds of sports: badminton, tennis, and volleyball. I think it's a good way for me to stretch my muscles and make friends. I would sometimes go to the university campus near my home to do these sports. What sports do Chinese people like? Boys may like basketball and football more, but the rest of the sports are both good for men and women, such as badminton, tennis, and volleyball. I like playing them a lot. Did you like to play sport when you were a child? Yes, I did. When I was a child, I was more active and would always play some sports with my friends on our school playground, even after school. I think it's good for children to do some exercise. If you have children in the future, will you let them take part in any sport? I would take my children to play sports occasionally and encourage them to play with their friends as well, because I think sports can help them develop mentally and physically. What kind of outdoor activity do you often do? I usually go hiking and play badminton in the park. During my spare time, I think hiking is good for my health and can help me get close to the nature. Playing badminton is good for me to stretch my arms after a whole day's work or study. Sport. What sports do you like? Why? I like many different kinds of sports: badminton, tennis, and volleyball. I think it's a good way for me to stretch my muscles and make friends. I would sometimes go to the university campus near my home to do these sports. What sports do Chinese people like? Boys may like basketball and football more, but the rest of the sports are both good for men and women, such as badminton, tennis, and volleyball. I like playing them a lot. Did you like to play sport when you were a child? Yes, I did. When I was a child, I was more active and would always play some sports with my friends on our school playground, even after school. I think it's good for children to do some exercise. If you have children in the future, will you let them take part in any sport? I would take my children to play sports occasionally and encourage them to play with their friends as well because I think sports can help them develop mentally and physically. What kind of outdoor activity do you often do? I usually go hiking and play badminton in the park. During my spare time, I think hiking is good for my health and can help me get close to the nature. Playing badminton is good for me to stretch my arms after a whole day's work or study. Shopping. Where do you usually go shopping? I usually go to nearby supermarkets to buy both daily necessities and clothes. I don't like spending too much time shopping. Occasionally, I would also shop online, and I think it's pretty convenient. Do you enjoy shopping in big shopping malls, big shopping centers? Yes, I do. 
There are usually a variety of products and brands there. And the service is good. If you don't like something you have bought, you can ask for a refund, but usually you can't do that at a smaller shop. Where do you buy your clothes? How often do you buy clothes? What styles of clothes do you like to buy? I usually buy my clothes at a shopping mall near my home. I care about the quality of clothes, and I want to wear comfortable ones, so I would usually buy good brand casual clothes. Since I don't want to spend a lot of time shopping, I would go shopping once every two months. Why some people don't like shopping? Shopping is usually time-consuming and shopping centers are always full of people, so some people might feel dizzy and uncomfortable when they go to such places. Sometimes too many choices can also make people feel hard to make decisions. What do you feel about the trend of the fashion? I think it's nice because people would always try to follow the trend and they would make a lot of changes accordingly. Fashion can add more spice and sparkles to our life. Shopping Where do you usually go shopping? I usually go to nearby supermarkets to buy both daily necessities and clothes. I don't like spending too much time shopping. Occasionally, I would also shop online and I think it's pretty convenient. Do you enjoy shopping in big shopping malls, big shopping centers? Yes, I do. There are usually a variety of products and brands there. And the service is good. If you don't like something you have bought, you can ask for a refund, but usually you can't do that at a smaller shop. Where do you buy your clothes? How often do you buy clothes? What styles of clothes do you like to buy? I usually buy my clothes at a shopping mall near my home. I care about the quality of clothes, and I want to wear comfortable ones, so I would usually buy good brand casual clothes. Since I don't want to spend a lot of time shopping, I would go shopping once every two months. Why some people don't like shopping? Shopping is usually time consuming and shopping centers are always full of people, so some people might feel dizzy and uncomfortable when they go to such places. Sometimes too many choices can also make people feel hard to make decisions. What do you feel about the trend of the fashion? I think it's nice because people would always try to follow the trend and they would make a lot of changes accordingly. Fashion can add more spice and sparkles to our life. Gift Do you think it's difficult to choose what gift to give to people? Definitely. It's really hard to know what others want or need. Sometimes, we might buy what we like for others but they may not like it or need it. I sometimes feel it's a good way to give money or gift card instead if we don't really have the idea of what to buy. When was the last time you received a gift? Last month, my sister bought a very beautiful sweater for me. It was a good gift. Actually, I don't receive gifts often, but I'm always happy to have them. Do you prefer to receiving a gift or giving a gift? Think both. When I receive gifts, I can feel happy and loved. But when my friends or family members love the gift I give them, I also feel happy.
What were the gifts you sent to others recently? Um, last week, when my classmate came from Shanghai to see me, I sent her a bag of Longjin tea, which is one of the famous products in my hometown. When I saw the happy smile on her face, I felt delighted. I so. Is it easy for you to have the ideas to send gifts to others? Do you like giving gifts to your friends? Yes, I believe sending gifts to others not only shows your love or respect to them, but also helps to bring closer the relationship between each other. So I always try to send my friends something. Gift. Do you think it's difficult to choose what gift to give to people? Definitely, it's really hard to know what others want or need. Sometimes we might buy what we like for others. But they may not like it or need it. I sometimes feel it's a good way to give money or gift card instead if we don't really have the idea of what to buy. When was the last time you received a gift? Last month, my sister bought a very beautiful sweater for me. It was a good gift. Actually, I don't receive gifts often, but I'm always happy to have them. Do you prefer to receiving a gift or giving a gift? Think both. When I receive gifts, I can feel happy and loved. But when my friends or family members love the gift I give them, I also feel happy. What were the gifts you sent to others recently? Um, last week. When my classmate came from Shanghai to see me, I sent her a bag of Longjin tea, which is one of the famous products in my hometown. When I saw the happy smile on her face, I felt delighted. I so. Is it easy for you to have the ideas to send gifts to others? Do you like giving gifts to your friends? Yes, I believe sending gifts to others not only shows your love or respect to them. But also helps to bring closer the relationship between each other. So I always try to send my friends something.